Okay, my name is uh, Dennis Mbok. I'm the CEO for Kenya Transporters Association. Uh, today we've called this press conference to uh, uh, complain about the dwindling economy of Mombasa. Uh, we've been on streets 14 times uh, complaining about uh, the offtake of cargo from Port of Mombasa to Nairobi by SDR. Uh, we've stated uh, several times that uh, that kind of practice uh, actually hurts the economy of Mombasa. Uh, today, well, the truckers have got no jobs to do uh, because uh, the SDR takes most of the containers to Nairobi. And that uh, the taking containers to Nairobi is not even cheap either. It is very expensive because it has got hidden costs. So what we are saying today is that the government is not listening to us. Uh, the government has shifted uh, their action on BBI. Uh, they are not listening to the Pumono Nainchi. The community is bleeding, the country is bleeding, Mombasa as a, a, a town is dying. So we are only asking the government that please listen to us. We are not saying SDR is a bad thing, SDR is a good project, and every country, most of the developed countries has got most mode of transport, many modes of transport. But then they are not forcing people to use one of those modes. People are given freedom of choice. So what we're asking for is freedom of choice. We need the government to give us that freedom so that we may be able to choose which mode of transport we would want to use. If somebody is more comfortable with road transport, please let him use the, the road as a mode of transport. If somebody is comfortable with uh, rail as a mode of transport, give him that freedom to use rail as a mode of transport. But this idea of forcing us to use one mode of transport is really hurting us because there are people who directly and directly are depending on road transport. And now, today, as we speak, we have got fewer trucks on the road. But then again, the policemen on the road have shifted the action and frustration on, onto those few trucks that are there. Uh, those trucks that are there are now actually scrutinized and they are harassed, the drivers harassed on the way, uh, just because the policemen are not getting what they used to get when the trucks were on the road. So it is hurting everybody as the economy is being dwarfed uh, from Mombasa all the way to Ebuye. Uh, last time, well, last Saturday when, senators, when we had a BBI meeting here, uh, Senator Enoch uh, Wambua of Kitui uh, tried to raise up the matter of SDR, but then unfortunately in a uh, for very unique circumstances, the microphone was snatched away from him. So it means that the government do not want to hear anything touching SDR. Uh, Cliffy Governor, Mr. Jeff Amazon Kingi, also presented the memorandum. And what we need here, the key things that are addressed within that memorandum should be factored in the BBI document uh, so that our issues are also addressed. We are feeling that the government is not listening to us. The government is now focusing on how they are able to distribute uh, 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 leadership. We are not interested in leadership. What we are in interested in as common on Ainti is freedom of being business. We need to do business in, a, uh, in a, a free and fair atmosphere. We are no longer interested in the leadership. If we, are, if we have enough in our pocket, we are doing our business with a lot of freedom, then we'll be happy. But we cannot be happy when we do not have anything in our pocket. Our businesses are dying. Our people are dying. We don't even have school fees. We have children in school. And, and, and we are in a total mess. So what we are saying is that, please, the government, whoever is there, I'm addressing the president, please, the SGR is not a bad project everywhere in the whole world. We have countries with, the, with, with, with the rail as a mode of transport, but they are never forced to use one mode. We, we do not want one mode to be forced on us. Give us freedom so that we may be, use, may be able to use a given mode of transport that one uh, prefers. This is our prayer. Okay. Komadina naitua Salim Karama. Mwenyekiti wa vuguvugu hili la first action leo tunakuja hapa kuelezea wapwani na wakenya wote kwa jumla kuhusiana na mkutano uliokuwa juzi pale mamangina drive sisi kama vuguvugu la wafanyaji biashara wa pwani kwanza ni masikitiko makubwa sana kwa mtizamo wetu kuona mkutano ule ulikuwa si mkutano wa maoni ya wananchi bali ilikuwa ni mkutano wa vuguvugu ama muungano wa handshake sisi kama wapwani mapendekezo yaliyotolewa na governor Jeff Kingi tunakubaliana nayo na ni matakwa yetu lakini tukithamini tunaangalia na kufikiria yale aliyosema senator Murkomen 
ya kwamba sio iwe ni kuandika kwa vitabu alafu inaenda kutupwa kwa meza kule Nairobi. Sisi tuataka kusema kama wapwani kama wafanyajibiashara wa pwani ya kwamba mkutano wa Jumamosi ulikuwa umelenga kugawanya mamlaka katika serikali. Sisi hatujaona jambo lolote ambalo litatufaidi sisi kwa sababu gani? Wao mwezi huu wa Januari viongozi wote wa pwani walikutana na Rais Uhuru Mwigai Kinyata katika ikulu ya Mombasa na hawakueleza matakwa haya ya wapwani mbele ya Rais. Leo sisi tunaangalia ni kwamba ni siasa ile kusema mbele ya majukwaa ambayo tumeyazoea miaka yote kutupa ahadi kwenye majukwaa pasi na kutekelezwa. Kwa hivyo sisi twasema kama wapwani jambo lile sio la, kwa, la kwenda kuwekwa kwa BBI. Wao kama viongozi wa pwani na kweli walikuwa wanataka kupigania haki za wapwani ilikuwa wa demand pale pale juu ya majukwaa na kusema kazi viwanda vilohamishwa vyote virudishwe saa hizo hizo lakini sio watuambie ni maswala ya kwenda kuwekwa kwa BBI e, kuhamishwa kwa port katika mji wa Mombasa si maswala ya kwenda kuandikwa kwa katiba iko tayari katika e, katiba mambo ya ugatuzi na hii ni haki ya wapwani ibaki port katika mji wa Mombasa sio kuhamishwa miji mingine kwa hivyo viongozi wetu wa pwani msituletee zile danganya toto ahadi nyingi mlituletea sisi twawashurutisha mfuatilizie haya mambo na yatekelezwe sasa hivi sio kungoja maswala ya BBI na jambo lingine ambalo nataka kuchangia kwa wapwani sisi tuamke ni kwamba Maswala haya ya kugawanywa kwa regional tunajua hizi ni vita vilikuwa katika mkoa wa Pwani wakati waliposema sasa governor atakuwa ni wa regional wa mkoa wote kukatokea vita baina ya Jefa Kingi na Hali Asanjo kutaka kuendelea baadaye ndipo wakakaa ndani ya store zao wakagawanyana maswala haya ya eh, county kugawanyishwa mkoa wetu kusemekana kwamba Lamu Tanariva na Kilifi iwe moja na upande wa Mombasa taveta na kwale iwe moja. Swala hili ni vile vile bado wanapigania uongozi na maslahi yao ya kuendelea katika uongozi. Haya si matakwa ya wapwani. Sisi kitu ambacho kimesikitisha kime ni kwamba maswala haya ya kutoa maoni kwa wapwani ilikuwa yafanywe na wapwani. Kitu cha kushangaza wageni wengi ndio walikuja wakatutolea maoni pasi na sisi wenyewe wa pwani kutoa maoni. Tunasema ya kwamba hii ni hatari kubwa sasa wa pwani wanaanza kugawanywa vipande pande kuficha maswala haya ya kupigania haki zetu rasilimali zetu. Na wanaotumiwa ni viongozi wetu ambao wako sasa. Kama wa pwani tunasema swala hili la kugawanywa wa pwani vipande hilo hatuwezi kukubali na siku zote viongozi wetu ndio wanaotuuza sisi wa pwani kudhulumiwa haki zetu tunasema ya kwamba Raila Amolo Odinga yeye ndiyo ilikuwa ni strong hold yake pwani na akaja akasimama na paka kesho kuna klipu zinacheza yeye akitusisitiza ya kwamba pwani inahamishwa poti inahamishwa lakini baadaye akanyamaza miaka miwili mizima bila kutetea wapwani kwa rasilimali zake zinahamishwa leo anakuja tena kutudanganya na kuleta ishu ambazo mimi naweza kusema ni uchochezi kusema waarabu wanakuja kwa maswala ya masala ya ardhi hiyo bwana Raila Odinga hapo unachochea kwa sababu walionyakuwa ardhi katika Kenya ni waingereza kule eh, laikipia kule kule sehemu za Mount Kenya na kuna familia nyingi ambazo zilihamishwa na zikatupwa katika mikoa yetu ya pwani kwa sababu wao mabepari walikuwa wananyakuwa zile hii kwa wapwani mimi nawaambia tuendeni kihistoria ni njama moja sasa ya kuleta kugawanyisha wapwani kwa misingi ya kusingizia ardhi ya manini maswala ya ardhi yalikuwa ya, sio ya kuongelewa kwenye majukwaa kama yale twakondem Bwana Raila Amolo Odinga usije kwa matakwa yako ya BBI hapa alafu unaanza kutuletea ishu za ardhi ambapo kwamba wewe ulituambia poti yetu inaenda ulituambia rasilimali za pwani zinahamishwa na klipu ziko zinazunguka 
e, e, dunia mzima alafu unakuja mnatuchochea sisi tunasema ma, maoni ni yale ya wananchi na wale wa pwani kwa sababu mikoa yote wanazunguka kutamini mambo ya BBI na hakuna mpwani anaenda sehemu nyingine kuwatolea wengine maoni. Kwa nini sisi twakubali kuja kutolewa maoni na viongozi wengine? Ikiwa ni masuala ya kipwani kihistoria tulidhulumiwa kitambo, hakuna uongozi wowote. Sisi tukidanganywa mwisho tunadanganywa na chama na feri na nini katika uongozi wa Kenya. Na kwa sasa mambo ya kugawanya hivi viti hiyo ni masuala yenu sisi tunasema tunataka uchumi wa pwani urudishwe pot ilo hamishwa na ivasha irudishwe hapa kwa sasa hivi sio masuala ya kungoja BBI asante kwa majina kamili naitwa Harriet Muganda the organizing secretary first action business community movement na pia niko katika vuguvugu vugu, vugu hili kwa ajili ya kina mama langu ni moja ama mawili nitasema hivi ya kwamba E, maandamano yetu ya Black Monday yataendelea kama kawaida. Na hili na litumwa kwa askari wetu wa, ambao wamepostiwa huku coast. Mambo ya kutuzuia na maandamano tukipeleka notification yetu on time mnazuia hayo mnatakana kuangalia hilo jambo. Na mimi ninaambia uh, DPP ya kwamba uh, ashurutishe hao askari wao kulinda you know maandamano ni kunotify si kuuliza permit ya kufanya maandamano mnawapelekea notification wanakuwa wakali ya wataki kugonga so lazima watii sheria na mimi kuhusiana na BBI nitasema jambo moja do we really need BBI ya kupoteza 10 billion shillings ambayo zingewekwa zilipie SGR ili deni la SGR do we really need BBI tuko na katiba hii katiba ingekuwa implemented fully we don't need BBI Kwa sababu hii katiba iko na masuala ya, 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 ya mashamba, iko na masuala ya dhuluma, iko na masuala ya, ya, ya kila aina yenye ilikuwa kwa BBI. So do we really need 10 billion to waste 10 billion na tuko na deni ya wa China ambayo inatugandamiza sisi wa pwani tunalipia hiyo deni na na, na ku peleka makasha yote na aerobic through the SGR. Do we really need eh, eh, BBI? kwa mtazamo yangu hatuna hatuhitaji BBI kwa sababu kuna Krigler report kuna Waki report kuna Ndungu report kuna hizo reports zote ambazo zinashughulikia mambo haya ambayo wanazungumza, wanazungumza kwa kwa BBI na mimi nitasema hivi niliona BBI ni kugawanya mamlaka wakaficha haya mambo mengine ili kudanganya wa kudanganya wananchi kwa sababu hawangeweza kuja direct waseme tunagawanya mamlaka at regional regional sijui tunahitaji prime minister tunahitaji nini hawangesema direct maana wangepata upinzani that's why wamejaribu kuficha na mambo ya shamba na mambo ya nini na mambo ya nini ili mwananchi aone ni jambo lake lakini in truth we don't need bbi tuko na constitution ambayo ni powerful na hiyo constitution needs to be implemented we don't need kupoteza 10 billion shillings ambayo ingeongezwa katika ile deni mimi kama mama mimi sihitaji si, si bbi for what Mi nahitaji kuona mtoto wangu anakula jioni, nahitaji kuona mtoto wangu anaenda shule, nahitaji kuona mume wangu yuko kazini, nahitaji kuona watoto wangu wanapata kibarua. I don't need BBI. So mimi sijui hii masuala ya BBI kwa sababu hawakuwa na uwezo wa kusema tunahitaji mamlaka. Waka, 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 wakaamua kuficha ficha. So yangu ni hiyo, otherwise Black Monday is still going on until masuala yetu ya yaamuliwe. Thank you. Um. Thank you very much. Just to wrap it up, kwa sababu viongozi wengine wamesema yale ambayo tungetaka kuyasema, lakini tunataka kutoa sauti yetu iweze kusikika na iweze kufika mbali. Kwamba sisi kama wananchi, sisi kama vuguvugu na sisi kama mashirika ambao ndio wananchi tulioko kwenye ground. Tunaunga mkono ile declaration ambayo ilitolewa na viongozi wa pwani uh, hivi juzi uh, baadhi ya mambo ambayo walikuwa wameangazia ni masala ya mashamba waikiwa ni katika national au katika county level sisi kama wananchi tunapinga vikali na tunawaambia ikiwa wao wanataka hii BBI ianguke if they want to see a total collapse of either referendum or BBI then let them try to expand the executive. Sisi tumechoka kushikilia ama kuwabeba viongozi katika hii nchi. This time round, 
because their terms have expired, they're thinking of expanding to take care of their personal interests. What happens 10 years later on, when those terms will again expire? Will they seek to expand uh, the executive further? So we want to speak and we want to speak with one clear voice. Kenya is not Uganda. Kenya is not Rwanda. Once you've completed your term, please exit or look for another position that you are fit in to serve. But we will not allow the interests of a few individuals. For many years, wa Kenya milioni arbaini na saba, tumekuwa tukibeba wachache peke yake, tukilipa kodi kuwalisha, kuwavisha, kufuel magari makubwa makubwa, just a few individuals. What they are trying to do with this uh, expansion of regional and county governments is actually to extend that further. Na hawaangali mahitaji ya wananchi yule mlalahoya lioko chini. Wanaangalia their interests. Kwamba how will they remain in power? This is very much against the constitution. This is very much against the people of Kenya. And tunawambia, we are speaking in one very clear voice. We shall not allow, we shall not accept the expansion of government to serve a few individuals. We agree with the coastal leaders on every other issue they mentioned in the declaration, and we will work with them. We will continue to cooperate with them to make sure that that declaration is implemented, and we don't even need the BBI to implement it. We already have uh, county governments, we have money, the national government is already in place, they can rescind the, the, the directive, so all the issues raised within the declaration, it is possible to implement them immediately. So we are asking the leaders to start implementation and we will work with them, we will cooperate with them to see to it that that happens. But the issue of regional and county governments, that we will not accept. Either you have regional governments or you have county governments. You cannot have regional and county governments. We are already having a huge wage bill. Mwananchi amechoka, punda amechoka kulipa mishahara na magari ya hawa kubwa. Leo badala ya kupunguza zile expenses so that mwananchi apate relief, tunaona viongozi kwa tamaa zao wanataka kuongeza hizi nafasi. So sisi tunapinga, they choose either regional governments or county governments, but we cannot have both regional and county governments. Mwaswadi. Oh, yes. uh, demos itaendelea kama kawaida Black Monday bado iko vile vile paka matako yale ambao sisi tunapigania miaka yote yatimizwe na pia tunasisitiza hawa viongozi ambao walisema ni viongozi wa pwani juzi kwa kwa ile maandamano eh, kwa ile mkutano ya juzi Hata wao kama kweli wali, wanapigania masilai ya wapwani waje kwa maandamano waungane na sisi sisi tutakuwa na tamaa ya kuwa yale matakwa yao ama mapendekezo yao waliwandika kweli yametiliwa mkazo kwa hivyo tunawaalika viongozi wote wapwani tujeni tufanye maandamano kipamoja sio kwenda kwa majukwaa mukadanganya wananchi alafu kama alivyosema Murkomen mukayabwaga juu ya meza kwa hivyo tuwasisitiza wajitokeze katika maandamano ya Black Monday next ambayo tutayatangaza rasmi siku hivi siku za karibuni asante Black Monday is on Black Monday lives on Black Monday power will continue and we are planning to extend Black Mondays beyond Mombasa we have a network, we have a movement that cuts across the entire country. We have Black Monday in Nairobi, we have Black Monday in Kisumu, in um, Tito Andei, we have Black Monday in Homa Bay, we have Black Mondays everywhere. And we are speaking with one voice. We do not want a prime minister, we don't want deputy prime ministers, we don't want regional governors. What we have is enough. We don't need another level of governance. Hiyo tumekata. But all other issues that were raised in the declaration ya wapwani, sisi tunayunga mkono 100% and we will immediately engage the governors and the elected leaders to see how we can implement that declaration even without the BBI. We are ready, we feel the resources are there, 
the intent is there and the will is there. So we can actually do that. Like in